Hi everybody, this is D checking in. I'm with the man himself. Mr. Uh, I'm just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Steve, let me ask you a question. You know, ever since day one, you've been very active in our group and our country strong family. You've always helped guide us in the right direction. And honestly, I think from when I might have even learned from Tommy from you. Like how did you two connect and you've taken his cause to heart and made it a, a huge part of what we do it here at Country Strong. I really, um, out of out of Route 91, Route 91 to me became like, uh, it's hard to explain, but it almost felt like people were making it a business at first. I totally understand. Whatever they could, you know, making money. I mean, it was hats and shirts and stickers and, and it was anybody and everybody in a free-for-all and it's like what the hell is going on here you know what I mean? non-profits um and uh you know my whole question with that was where's all this money going you're, you know you're asking us for money where's it going and then here comes this guy that has no affiliation with anything just, you know, spreads his love, and he never asked anybody for a penny, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, he, he never, he, not a single dime, and then, you know, gradually he got his following, he gets some donations here and there. Um, this is his second fundraiser. Now, he's had one back in New York that somebody put on for him, uh, that I actually went to. Um, and I just felt that we needed to do something out here for everything that he did for us. Absolutely. And uh, I just felt, you know, I felt something to be done for him out here because he's literally shelled out thousands of dollars of his own money. He's got a very supportive wife. Um, and so I think that's where my heart, you know, came into it. I truly believe in what he does, and, you know, what we do too. It's not, a little bit different, but it's kind of the same thing. But, uh, and I just, you know, I feel so strongly that we lost 58 people. And now that we're losing so many more, and, and uh, for census, whatever it is, you know. So let me ask you, Steve, since you brought, uh, brought that up, what is your take on this? Continued cycle of senseless acts. Like how? Let me let me phrase the question. What can? What? How do you proactively try to combat that yourself? What do you do with your kids or your coworkers? Or how? What? What is your well, vision? Well, my coworkers are my coworkers are a different breed. <laughs> but um, with my kid and stuff, I you know I try to instill in them good manners and um, you know. Not necessarily. I don't necessarily push be the good down his throat or yeah. whatever, but just being a good stand-up citizen, you know. And I'm stern with them. Uh, I'm not super strict, but I'm stern. And hopefully that just gets through his head that hey, be careful, right? Don't be a douche. Give me all blushy. So that's that's my. All weird on you. That's your that's your good my, vibe. That's my good vibe. You know what I mean? Now, here's the other thing. It literally seems like I saw this on a post, and then, like, within 24 hours, it was full steam ahead, and, like, here we are today. And it's already filling up, and it's not even, it's not even 2 o'clock. That's amazing, because I, I, I'll tell you, I've been really nervous for this day. You know, I just want it to be something so good. Not only is it for a chance for, you know, our Route 91 family to get together, uh, I was hoping that, you know, I know from out of, you know, a lot of these things happen out of state and this is, you know, for the Honor Network yeah. now, um, you know, I wish we could get other people, you know, to hear, you know, here to, to uh, I don't want to say celebrate, but just, uh, to, to, you know, re to honor lives that are no longer here, to be a, to be a part of what we, because it's a unique situation with us, there were so many of us. So we all kind of formed our own little families into a big family, and when someone's having a bad day, that family will stop whatever they're doing to make sure that they're okay, which is, is huge. Like I've seen and heard stories about you going out of your way to help people, and you know I've seen other and personally been a part of 
people just doing simple things. It doesn't have to cost you anything. Just listening to somebody as they, they go through their emotions and, and be a part of and be there and be uh, uh, a beacon of hope. Like I like it's funny that people say, Oh, I gotta get pictures with Eve or you go to events and your biggest life. And you I mean like you're humble, you say I'm just a guy, but people gravitate towards you because of what you represent for them in this family. I I, I just have a big personality. <laughs> what, what can I say, you know? Um, that's all, I, I mean, that's all. I, I just have a big personality. So let me ask you this. For some people that are out of state or, you know, can't make it today specifically, how can people donate to this cause? So you can go to uh, www.theotternetwork.com. Uh, there's a donate button. They uh, they have a PayPal. And uh, and uh, you can donate right to, right to Tommy from there. And like I said, most of his stuff, I mean, he, like he said, he gets some donations here and there. Um, for the most part, it's been his, on his own dime. You know, he, he went to New Zealand. He raised money going to New Zealand. He spent a lot of his own money uh, for that, too. And it goes right to Tommy, so um, so he can continue, unfortunately, what he, what he does. You know? So let me ask you this. I personally am going to already call this a successful event by the crowd that's filling up inside. Uh, is this something we're going to be able to be a part of annually, or <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot? <laughs> well, I'm, you know, I am, I'm, I run a mile, I run 100 miles an hour every day, you know. Um, I'd love to be able to do it annually. We'll just have to play it by ear. But I, I am, you know, I, I, I opened my mouth uh, a, a few months ago, and now I'm full steam ahead on this one. Um, We'll just see out what happens in the future. But. So I'm going to caveat. Is there something hey, coming out? Maybe that we... you'll have to take it over. Oh, uh, uh, well, I, I don't know. If I can get... Dude, your raffle is impressive. I, I, I saw the amount of tickets you posted. I was like, that's more than I've ever sold since I've been trying to help. But uh, you know what? Uh, we just want to be prepared. Right? So let me ask you this. Uh, is there a link on Facebook that they, if they want to try to raffle? Because I'm going to post this video right away. So is there, like, can they, uh, I know with the blanket they were doing, uh, you could buy raffle tickets online. So you can contact us, oh God, Susan Hodge, they'll come to me. Um, but, uh, look, see, he, he's, he's raising 50, my- 50-50. I have 100 that he has to go to the ATM. Okay. We're taking a raffle. We're raffle live. This is live. raffle tickets. Um, 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 you can buy the quilt. You can buy raffle tickets up until the end of the day for the quilt. Okay. You don't have to be uh, present to win the quilt, but you do have to be present to win any of our other raffle. Now the quilt, if you guys haven't seen it, I believe it's posted on the page right, Country for Cause West Coast. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the uh, remembrance and survivors t-shirts made into a, this huge quilt, and it's so beautiful. Honestly, it's the only item I'm gonna put my money in for the raffle. Uh, hopefully I win it, fingers crossed. But what I'm telling you guys, this is a once in a lifetime type of item. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you have a chance to come down here, they literally have a whole room full of stuff that people have donated, made, that are just awesome items. That yes, and, and I just wanna thank everybody that's I just wanna thank everybody that's donated to our raffle. Um, I, I know I, I thank a lot of people. I haven't been able to thank everybody, but I uh, just uh, much appreciate all the love and support that we've had coming into this event. Um, so thank you very much. And one last question, Steve. If you, if they had to do a, a movie trailer about, oh my God, <laughs> on, 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 on who Steve is, uh, and what you, what you feel this movement, the Honor Network, what would it be about? Honestly, I don't. I don't even know how to answer that. Um, uh, and, okay, let me simplify it then. In one word, what what do you believe the Honor Network stands for? I mean, the Honor Network to me just stands for you know what how it's named. You know, it's honor. You've heard it first here, Steve himself. I appreciate him taking time. I mean, he's crazy hectic, and as you saw, people are coming in and, and uh, checking him out. Uh, it's www.thehonornetwork.com. Be kind, give hope, and help you. If you have an opportunity to come down. We're at the Oak Pro. We're going to be here till 7. seven. Officially, two, to seven. 2 to 7. And like I said, if you don't, 
that quilt is the item you're going to want to want to make a bid on. You guys have a great day. Everybody give Steve a big hug when you see him. He loves doing it. He does. Don't let it fool you. And uh, thank you for taking time to watch Thanks, the video. Thanks, guys.